He's singing Pete Seeger covers. Well, you be the judge as he uh, rips one off from Asbury Park, New Jersey, a special encore later in the show. And our weekend window opens to a beautiful place, once the site of an infamous environmental disaster, but what a difference 15 years can make. It is gorgeous. And the home with the boss, a special encore performance as Bruce Springsteen rocks his hometown crowd. And the paradise that was almost lost. Our weekend window opens to a place full of natural wonders and amazing wildlife. Most of us remember the Exxon Valdez oil spill up in Alaska, such a big deal. That was 1989. It's been 15 years now, and the environment there is beginning to recover, thankfully. The beauty of that area never died. And this morning, our weekend window looks out on the town of Whittier, Alaska, and the Prince William Sound. calls itself the gateway to Prince William Sound and is. Well, Whittier is the only access point to the Western Sound, and there is gorgeous coastline out there in Western Prince William Sound. The closest fjords offer tidewater glaciers, and as close as we are to town, the locations are still very remote. Incredible access to all kinds of different wildlife, whether you're into marine mammals or birding, uh, what have you. Uh, that and uh, just the natural beauty of the area. Some of my favorite wildlife uh, in the Prince William Sound area is uh, orcas, uh, always being my favorite. They come in and out of there uh, quite often, both the residents and the transients. And of course, uh, sea otters. You can never pass up a cute little sea otter. The city of Whittier was built by the military for the military. These army buildings have been, of course, transformed into something else. The one sleepy little town of Whittier is showing more of a pulse with every passing summer. I've lived in these parts for six years now and would offer to anybody that's never been to Alaska or Prince William Sound specifically to try to see it at least once in their lifetime.